Back a while ago, I installed Mac OS X Jaguar on my lime green iMac G3. Now, the installation went smooth, everything worked out well. Uh, Jaguar, though, is just very slow on it. Um, I know for a fact that Jaguar itself isn't the fastest operating system, but a 333 MHz G3 processor and 160 megabytes of RAM surely doesn't help it. So I thought, you know, I, unfortunately I don't have a RAM to upgrade, or at least I didn't, I don't think so. So I thought, because OS 9 is ugly, if not, I would perform pretty good. Um, I'd install something very special. That is um, a release that's supposed to be very buggy. It is the first of its kind. And uh, no, it's not a Linux. It's OS 10.0. Yes, the original OS 10. And that is called Cheetah. Now, back then, Apple started this very cool trend where they didn't name their operating system after some mountains. They named their operating systems very badass after big cats. So that was Cheetah, the second one was Puma, so that's 10.1, and 10.2 was Jaguar, and 10.3 was Panther, and 10.4 was Tiger. I don't know what they thought about Mountain Lion. That Maybe they, they made that transition there from cats to mountains and decided to put both in one so you can, you know, have a smooth transition. And then they started with Yosemite, oh no, Mavericks first, and then Yosemite, and then Sierra. So many OS 10 releases. So with that all out of the way, we've got here 10.0, the very first. Um, I remember I installed it once on my eMac. I just thought it's just way too good. Um, uh, it's just way too fast and pretty much would waste a lot of potential. So I am going here with 10.0 on my G3 Lime. So here's the iMac and of course our ritual of booting up the old OS will begin now. Now in this case it's even a newer OS but you get the idea. Just to give the outgoing operating system one last hooray. All right, here is the desktop of JUR and we will now go to about this Mac because that's what you guys always want to see. Here we go. 333 megahertz and 160 megs of RAM. So let's open this uh, drive and put in the disk and I hope it can read it again. I always fear that because old uh, CD and DVD drives have sometimes troubles reading newer types of discs. I've had that happening a couple of times. So I hope it works. If not, we'd have to go with the good old trick of booting another Mac in target disc mode. But that looks good it mounted here. So yeah, we'll come to Mac OS 10. All right, so that even has the, the old OS 9 logo on it. That's it's really crazy, isn't it? Okay, so let's shut it down and hold down the C. Hopefully the computer does see it coming, but uh, we'll see. Ha ha ha! So we will see. Well, let's press the power button and hope that it boots successfully without any kernel panics. So here we got the Happy Mac and a really old looking beach ball. Oh my god. I mean they had three types of beach balls. They had this one, then they had for a long long time the little modern one. And uh, then in like these OS's there, well I can't really show you because it, it doesn't freeze in the moment, but uh, it has like a redesigned one. I think in Yosemite they redesigned that, so yeah. It is still booting. We are almost there. Now we got some blank, blank buttons and window stuff going on. So, yeah. Would you please load it? Yeah, there we go. We made it. Back then, you only had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven languages available. If I'm not wrong. 
Yeah. That's uh, not really all that much, to be honest. <laughs> so, as you can see, if you know how the OS 9 installer looks like, I mean, this this looks just so pretty. And it's just one version newer. And they really, really got their game on when it comes to design. And that's, that's just so nice looking. Still that nice looking. Yeah, it's kind of old looking, but nice. If you boot up like Windows 98 installer or 2000, it looks ugh. But this, nice, nice, nice. But XP uh, then bumped it up again because there even the installer looked nice. Not counting in the MS DOS boot up thing where you had to format the drive, but yeah. So, will come to make OS X actualisieren. Hmm. <laughs> it wants us to update OS 10. Well, <laughs> how is that going? I mean, that's that's not working. It's actually a downgrade. So maybe maybe it wants to bullshit us here a bit, uh, or it's just a bad translation, really. Maybe it just just be installer. I don't know. Supported machines there. What fun? I'm naming. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's probably gonna say nay, nay, can't install. Oh, well, it doesn't even show us anything, so. Oh, there we go. 6 gig Mac HD. Maybe you should go into disk utility if it's. I don't know. Ha, <laughs> actualizer. Ah, this is a, a, an updater. Not an installer, it's an updater. <laughs> uh, all right, I I, I want to format it, guys. I want to want to format it. You could go into Unix or Mac OS Extended. Huh. Wait, let me let me try and get out of the installer. Let me get out of the installer. Uh, okay, where is a disk utility or something? Let's no. I don't want to reboot. Here, maybe. No, that's just a, <laughs> a grayed out normal OS 10 uh, menu. Interesting. You know, many people criticize Cheetah to be kind of unfinished and beta ish. Uh, so, yeah, I can understand, sort of. Well, then, then we can't really format. So we have to hope that it that it works. Let's click Fort Farm. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. Now you can select if the if the drive will be erased or you want to choose a different drive. Well, there's only one available, so let's delete it. Of course, we're not just installing. Oh well, in this case we will install anything, everything we have. <laughs> BSD subsystem. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, that, I like it. It's uh, <laughs> even having this. Now we don't need printer drivers. Those are just taking up space. Now, let's install, shall we? And, and then let's see if it will boot and how long it's gonna take. I remember Jaguar took quite a time. Uh, it's, it really wasn't fast, so let's see how, how much faster this is or slower, who knows. Alright, here's the first boot. We have the <laughs> Grey Apple logo. Whoops. Hit the tripod a little bit. The Grey Apple logo. It's looking... Still, I'm, I'm saying it again, not very old. I mean, you probably will completely disagree but I think this still looks pretty presentable for when this operating system was made again I'm saying Windows 2000 I mean this is this is looking like very old and OS 9 oh boy it's looking so shit compared to this really even though it's a <laughs> surely a great operating system it's looking very very old and just you know gray and here it's all nice and blue and white it's completely new so 
No, we don't have an intro video. Oh, well, we, we have, sort of, in this bar here on the side. <laughs> okay, well. Let's do this setup here. Looks pretty much like the Jaguar setup, to be completely honest. I'll skip the register information, registry information. Okay, we have a. Yeah, yeah, sorry, I pressed it a couple of times too much. We have a limited user account name, that's kind of weird. creating the user I'm really hoping it didn't freeze all right we are done now we shall see a desktop I, I don't know if we have internet have it connected um, internet explorer I see here yeah uh, yeah that's uh, something uh, not too great but anyhow here is the finder <laughs> and ha <laughs> That is some, some really nice little detail. As you can see there, on computer, you have a little iMac G3. <laughs> that, is, that is so cool. I mean, look at that. It's nobody anybody's going to realize, but as you can see, they made a little iMac in there. All right. Could you give me the CD back, please? Come on. Not okay. Well, then I'll eject it this way. Yeah, now you want okay. Well, uh, interesting. So, uh, let's explore a little bit Mac OS 10.0. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't even show it. It just shows Mac OS 10 and then build 4K 7.8. Oh, God. Even back then they wrote like K. Maybe it's just a number. I really, I really hope it's some code and not 4,000. I just hate that. And people write 2K 18, 2K 17. Oh, God, this zero was it so much work that you replace it with a letter. All right. Uh, we got here breaking news breaking news let's see what are the breaking news from 2000 or so did it show a copyright somewhere no oh well here we go 2001 no I was wrong 2001 oh way newer here we can have the latest information about your hardware oh well okay let's let's Press OK and see what happens. Internet Explorer 5, comma 1. Ooh. Preview release. It's not even the final version. That's some craptastic browser. Well, we don't have a server that is found. Uh, see if Google works. I, I think we don't even have internet. Could that be? We got an IP address, guys. We got an IP address. So let's see if Internet Explorer now wants to work. Server not found, okay. Server not found, oh no. Well, well, it's not looking too good. DHCP, yes, just, just do it. That's, that's fine. TCP, IP, yeah, that's, you should just obtain it and work, please. But it's, we got an IP address, but we got no internet. That's very, very weird. But anyway, uh, what else do we have? We, I want to show you the system profiler, but I am afraid I can't find it. If 
I don't go oh programs here with a nice shortcut for programs and yeah there, there's not too much here uh, we got Sherlock which not sure what it really is so it's a search search program or some Wikipedia ish no it's a search program okay you could search your PC or internet person that's kind of kind of fancy yeah <laughs> it's like a, a search engine for all particular stuff oh cool uh, well, let's go into utilities that's where, I, where it usually is disk utility oh this old disk utility logo guys believe it or not but this is still the same logo i will i will here on el capitan or no sorry on on high sierra we still have sort of this icon you can see there in the dock can you see it maybe you can see it i don't know and this is still looking like this in the first release or already you could say ha <laughs> some stuff really never changes same with the hard disks they, they look very similar still look at this hard disk and then look at this hard disk icon there it's like minimalistic differences uh so yeah <laughs> it kind of shows that this design wasn't so bad but this disk utility yeah it's kind of limited although you could say very user friendly with this um, why would they put an ambulance here it's kind of yeah but <laughs> there you go it, that's this utility for you got apple applet launcher cpu monitor it's got a cpu activity monitor they didn't have the activity monitor here they only had process viewer which is still the same icon <laughs> it's crazy there you can see task manager here for windows people uh terminal yeah good old terminal here we go that's pretty much always the same and what do we have more setup assistant display calibrator Apple system profiler that's all also the same icon I'm just so astonished that they kept these icons for so many years especially Apple when it was oh we want to have new and and we need courage and we need to change everything but then they still have the the icons in their latest OS from the first OS 10 release oh boy so here we finally see what version we run we run version 10.0.4 Oh my god, it's really worth 4078. Oh, it hurts so bad to see that. Why, K? I mean, is that any is this any good for some developers or is that some code for something that people thought it was cool to write 4000 this way? Could you please tell me that this is just a code for something, please? Here we have RAM 32128 module um and this system profiler looks very similar to the one in OS 9, just with the OS 10 design here with the tabs. But in fact, it's it's just the OS 9 kind of mind map style. Here is the old the old GPU ATI Rage Pro. Oh god, really really nice. We get the Mac HD, six gig drive. Oh no, frameworks. We don't want to search for the frameworks. Stop it! Stop it! All right, let's force quit it or just quit it. Okay. So what are the default programs? We'll get Doc Extras, Display Doc X, Battery Monitor Doc X. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a battery. <laughs> there are no batteries available. Okay, signal strength. Oh, we don't have a signal. Okay, well then, bye bye. It's kind of cool for laptops, though. So, yeah, Doc Extras. That was Doc Extras. Mm, text edit. Still the same icon. I keep saying that a lot today, am I? The date and time. Whether you like to see the, the date or the time, both is not possible, guys. You need to click in order to see it. So, guys, this is version ten point zero. I hope you enjoyed it. I will. I will maybe make another video of software for 10.0 it's surely not easy to obtain but uh it's gonna be fun and interesting so i hope you enjoyed this one and um 
yeah thanks for watching see you